Hello, welcome today. In today's podcast, I want to talk about energy and often negative energy that's held in places we live, in our car, in our workplace, in our friend's house, at the shops. You can get rid of this negative energy by using some modalities, and many of them will work quickly and make your house and your car better. The first thing is cleaning. Yes, I know, I heard you groaning there. So when we clean things, we clear off all the energy. When we wipe things down, we actually release the energy off and you actually take it away. That's why when you clean something, it always feels so much better once it's clean. Because energetically, your actual space is cleaner. And that includes washing your your car and cleaning your backyard and also washing your clothes. These will all release the negative energy or any energy that's trapped in these items and make them clearer and cleaner. The other way is to know that the energy collects in our homes uh, through no fault of our own, and it's just because the energy is like that. It'll often sit in the corners and yeah, around the doorways, that's where you'll find there seems to be an energy collection there. And I suppose that's also where we sort of tend to miss some of the dust and some of the dirt when we're doing a, a rapid clean. It's important to know that there's negative energy around. You can sometimes feel it, but sometimes if you get used to living with it, you don't even feel it at all. The, one of the biggest and best things is to burn sage. I bought some really beautiful sage, and I will light it and burn it and walk around the house, going through every room and all the corners and sage the house. It's an old practice. I think it works, and also the energy is released with your mental thoughts so as you're saging the house and walking around with your little saucer you should use the saucer light it once it's smoking i start to walk around i ask that the negative energy be released from these areas and i clear the house energetically the other reason people use candles and incense burners is the same reason to clear the energy it does something vibrationally to the energy and many cultures have used the burning of incense or different plants to clear areas. So use that one. Another one is to go around and use the singing bowls. So you can take your bowl and you can bowl every room. So you go around and you play the bowl. And that will break up and release the energy in the different areas of the rooms. Some people like also to use the rattle. They'll go around and they'll rattle the house, take their rattle and rattle around the house and using the bell. And you can also bell all the rooms and bell around your house. These are ancient practices that we are now able to still use and they will break up and clear the energy and allow it to be gone. One of the easiest things is also to open the windows and the doors you know that feeling of when, particularly in winter, the house is closed up and it feels more stuffy and it feels more stagnant. That's because the energy, not only the air, but the energy is also stagnant. So when you release the air and have the wind blowing through the house and have all the doors and windows open, even if it's cold, just for a while, it will actually clear the house and energetically make the house better. One practice I use is to bring in the light I bring in the white light into every room. I do that with my mind. I imagine the light being above and I bring it down and I put white light in every room. It doesn't take long, it's just a thought and you might like to do that as a practice. It's very quick, it works well and it doesn't take long and you can just keep doing it. If you have areas where you feel there's a more of a darkness because there's a lot more negative energy there, just keep doing it. Just keep flooding that area with white light, white light, white light. And eventually that will actually release the darker energies and they will dissipate. That's all we're trying to do. We're trying to let them go, release them out of the area and then replace them with better light. It's also a good idea then to burn some high quality essential oils. Bergamot, lime and lemon are very good cleansers. So they're very good to burn. And orange, they're very uplifting as well. If you have any depression, we are feeling somewhat anxious. Bergamot and is a very good one to burn. Of course you have to like it. I, I think that's really important. If you don't like 
what you're burning, you won't find it energetically that appealing to you. So find essences. When you're at the shops, lift up the little samplers and smell them and even put a little bit on your wrist and walk away and see if you like it and then use those in your home to keep clearing and cleansing your home because actually how our house smells affects us energetically. For example, if we come home and it, the house smells beautiful because we've been burning lavender, it will affect our mood. Or if we come home and there's a nice dinner cooking and that smell, it will affect our mood. We're very affected by things as humans. Our aura is responding and reacting every single second of our life to what's going on around it. It's like our little meter, isn't it? And so we need to be very aware of that to make our environment clean and energetically positive. You can also bring positive light, actual light, see positive light into every room and into your car and into your workspace. I feel having crystals around is also energetically very powerful. I've got crystals all over the place here and I don't think they do anything but good. They're just beautiful. I love looking at them, but I also know energetically that they're working for me. And I'll actually wash them and then move them around because if I feel that some area needs more good energy, I'll put a cluster of crystals nearby. If you're at work, you could put some crystals near your computer or in your desk or on your desk. And I think it's good for people to see these things. I think we influence others and they influence us and we can always be learning new things to do and opening up. And the world's vibrating at a higher rate now. Therefore, people will be more open to this kind of work. The other one I wanted to just add before I end the podcast is that if you sense and feel that there's a darkness, a dankness around, trust what you get. I can always feel it. I know in my house where the little energy dead spots are and where the places are that they are lighter. So I just work towards clearing them out by doing all the modalities I've told you in the podcast and then I add new things to it. Once you've cleaned it all out then you burn your incense and you you have your candles going and you open up the windows and, and let the sunlight come in too. Sunlight and the moonlight have their own cleansing power. At night if you can leave the curtains open and let down the full moon, let the full moon light shine into your house, that's good. And on the sunny days, let the sun shine into the house. That's good as well. So I'll leave you to go and do your energetic cleaning and to release the negative energy out of your homes and your environments at work and in the car. And and be aware of this, that our energy does get collected. So if we're mm, energetically in a bad space through no fault of our own or whether we've got people living with us who are negative and angry and there's fights in the house, that will actually disrupt the energy and you need to clear it. It's a wonderful thing to know how to do this, not only to clear our aura, but also to clear our environment. So get to work and if you have any new ideas or you have anything to add to what I've said, please send me a message. I'm on Facebook as well under Spiritual and Energy Work with Wendy. Okay, have a good week and sending you lots of love and lots of light.